them steppers, huh? But you can't step with us. Niggas swear they certified steppers, but don't step them up. Oh, you be with them steppers, huh? But you can't step with us. Niggas swear they certified steppers, but don't step them up. Oh, you be with them steppers. What up to the Breakfast Club? This is DJ Envy. This is Charlamagne the God. And <laughs> 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 we ain't none of them niggas. No, we not. This is Smoothie K. People, welcome back to the set, man. Welcome back to the cave, y'all. Yeah, bro. Hey. <laughs> Hey, you know what uh, what crossed my mind, bro? What? Like, we was talking about this age shit. Like, it, it is true. Like, motherfuckers real life be surprised when they find out I'm that older you're older than me. Yeah. You know what hey, saying? light skin don't crack. You, I just don't. You know that? <laughs> don't. <laughs> hey, you, I know you don't like putting your age out there, so I ain't going to say nothing. Yeah. <laughs> just mind, y'all. I'm 35. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> 27, baby. 27. <laughs> no, but like, I real life, bro, I like... I ain't tripping. I can't, bro. I can't wait to get to to Zaddy stage. Yeah. Like with the pepper beard, mm. all that shit. I make all like, I make all my females call me Zaddy. <laughs> Already right now. Yeah, 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 you right. can't be twenty seven and a Zaddy. Though, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pick a struggle, my nigga. <laughs> That's what's up though. But like, no real shit. Like, bro. Like when I get to that stage, mm. like that, like that, that forty. I hope, I hope, please, please, Lord, yeah. don't keep me single at 40. Like, I ain't gonna lie, like, listen, I'm having fun. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like, well, I'm enjoying it. Like, I ain't really tripping. I ain't rushing nothing. Mm. But I'm like, damn, 40? I'm still on some trying to build some shit with a woman. You gonna be like slip through it. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> at that point, it ain't happening. Yeah. But, like, but if I can get to that point, that zaddy stage where I got a chick that I'm rushing rocking with, and mm. I'm gonna be fly all the time. Oh, yeah. Every time we you, step out. You gonna have the, uh, the zaddy sandals? With the toes out? <laughs> no, sir. Yeah. Nah, don't nobody want to see these dogs. What, what, what are they, Balenciaga? Nah, I'll give a damn what they is. <laughs> hey, let me ask you something. Is there ever uh, a gift that you would tell a chick, nah, you got to take that back? Like, if she bought you some shit, like, could you stand in your masculinity enough to be like, nah, you got to take that shit back? Like, the sandals mm-hmm. you talk about. Let's say a chick pulled up with them, them mm-hmm. barbecue them barbecue twelves. <laughs> oh, man, <son>. <laughs> them, <laughs> them BBQ twelves. Nah, I ain't never had no... Uh, no crazy gift, but I remember, bro, when I was younger, a chick bought me a football jersey like you'd buy at the gas station. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no. Nah. <laughs> that bitch was big? Uh, no, that bitch, had, that bitch just had a number on it. No T. <laughs> <laughs> no T. You have to get a star right here. And a star right here. <laughs> oh, she just bought you one of them. Yeah, yeah. One of them FUBU jerseys man, without the FUBU. It was even it. worse. It was yeah. the FUBU, man. <laughs> oh, bro. So, like, but, and so, like, but, in that case, you just accepted it? Yeah, yeah I just accepted it. I ain't you gonna can lie. see it in my face and I ain't want like, nah. For me, I don't know. Like, if you give me, like, some barbecue sandals and some shit like that, and, yeah. like, because I feel like if you buying gifts for me, we at a level where you know me. Yeah. Come on, love. Stop playing. Like, <laughs> what you doing? I'm going to tell him, like, I'm like, man, listen, I'm so grateful that you thought about me or whatever, but... Mm-mm. Yeah. Like, not this. <laughs> like I was like, I don't even want you to waste your money. Like I'm not gonna wear. It. Yeah. Like I think you gotta be honest, bro. You gotta be honest. Then you start doing all that shit, and chicks want to be like, you know, you're ungrateful and all this shit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but where I wanted to go real quick, I wanted to holler at you about something. I had a, uh, I had a situation, bro. It's like, like, so first I'm gonna say this. Like, why when, when chicks, when you start messing with chicks. They act like you leaving them with, you you leaving a marriage and you know you you leaving them with three kids or some shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> they start hitting below the belt. Yeah, they start. Yeah. I had so I had a, I had a chick, and I don't give a fuck. Nah, shorty, you was in your feelings. Yeah, yeah. I hope you watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you watch it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, cause cause you know, like she was, we was on some, we was on some some kicking and shit. But it was like, it was like you. I, your expectations was just at a level where it's just too much. Yeah. Like, like you, you, like you want, my, you want the time all the time. You aggressive when a nigga ain't, you know, responding when you think I need to respond. And you in your feelings, if if you let yourself believe some crazy shit, right? Mm-hmm. You out here, you just you know, I ain't heard from him in six hours. He must be with another bitch. Yeah. That you know that type of shit, man. If you doing all that, bro, I'm a, yeah, I, I'm my natural. I think it's gonna be the fall back. Yeah, yeah. But with her, it was just too much. So I hit her, I was like, listen, I'm not really, I was like, listen, you was cool, like everything, the shit was straight or whatever. And you know, we we had what we had, but I'm like, I can't keep doing this shit. I was like, and I I just I told her, I was like, but you you too controlling and you like, you know, you you know when you read somebody they receipts? Mm-hmm. 
But I didn't do it in no disrespectful way. I was just trying to tell her, like, the shit that you showing me right now is something that I don't want to deal with. So yeah. I'm cool. Man, sure. Shorty came back with books, nigga. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> bitch was throwing novels at me, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> he was throwing novels at me. I'm talking about hitting me with hurtful shit. And I'm sitting back like, man, I, I, it, was a, it was a moment when I'm reading. I was like, damn, should I apologize? Like, yeah. How long, how long y'all have been knowing each other? Some couple months. Oh, she tripping. That's my point, bro. That's why, like, so, man, do you think, like, you, you, like women, I ain't gonna, I'm gonna just say it, bro. Sometimes women be doing too much when it comes to the breakup, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, because if you put that shit, if you put the shit on the other foot. Oh, that's a chick that you that you had broke up with. I ain't gonna call it no breakup. So, yeah, yeah. like, it ain't no breakup. It's just, I, we wasn't even on no relationship. Oh, okay. That's what I'm saying. Like, mm -hmm. I stopped fucking with you. I'm not even your boyfriend. And you acting like I'm leaving you with three children to be a single parent. Yeah, like, yeah. That's why I said that. It was like, calm down, love yeah. it. Ain't, you can go find somebody else now. But like, mm -hmm. she wanted to make sure that I knew you ain't you ain't worth a fuck, nigga. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think I ever had that kind of experience, though. Real life. Yeah, like, uh, break. well, with my breakups, I only had females breaking with me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Because they like, Jeremy, you don't cheat, man. Yeah, you just savage. <laughs> I keep forgetting who the fuck I'm talking to. Goddamn royalty over here. So. <laughs> my nigga, after the rest of this goddamn show, I'm going to call you your honor, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> your honor. <laughs> but, like, but like it, it, was, it was just crazy to me because I really like, was like, I was confused as to, like, because now I was, now I was fuck you. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Like you when you see me, you ain't got it's nothing. Like we, I was just trying to tell you when my point in communicating was to let you know, hey, listen, this is how you move, and I, I ain't finna sit there and tell you what you should or shouldn't do. I'm simply saying I identify that you move like this, and I want to let you know I ain't really fucking with it. Yeah. That's, that's all that I basically all I'm saying. I, so I don't understand in my head yeah. how you could look at that as like me coming at you, unless you just some insecure as woman and you just need to get that off. I just think uh, like females not used to, females not used to niggas breaking it off. But 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 that's, that's my whole point. Mm. If that shit was on the other foot with you like, you really ain't tripping, huh? Fuck no. Niggas be looking for a get out of jail free card. Oh yeah. yeah. That's what we, you know, it's like, it's like, we probably, if, if, if it's getting to that point where you gotta like be like, you know what, I'm done with this shit, right? Mm. It's either two, two ways we gonna look at that as dudes. We gonna either be like, ah, oh, nah, I really fuck with her, you know, cause we fuck with her, we we feel her, yeah. and we trying to keep her, or we gonna be like, damn, finally, yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> yeah, I ain't gotta deal with this shit no more. <laughs> like we don't be tripping on none of that, and but like, like to her, like I, I was hoping that like in that communication, I could say what I say, what I had to say, and you know, there was some dialogue that came from it. Maybe I don't think it would ever been a relationship anyway from that shit, but maybe mm -hmm. it was some like. Cool shit. Well, we could could at least continue what we was doing, but then like you show now that you straight immature. Like yeah. at the age I am now, nah, niggas ain't putting up with that. Hell no. Nah. You won't listen. Listen, this this is the thing that I ain't fighting for no more. I ain't fighting to prove no point with you no more. Nah. I ain't fighting to show you that I'm worth being a dude for you. Hell no. Nah. And I ain't <laughs> fighting for no ass. I yeah. love that. <laughs> you know, listen, yeah, nah. I'm the type of nigga now. I'm I'm gonna reach for it. Mm. You move my hand out the way. I'm going to sleep. Hey. <laughs> since you talk about, I'm going to sleep. You talk about fighting for no ass. <laughs> like, how do you feel about dick discipline? I do, and do you uh, practice it? Like, let's say, oh. let's say, like, a chick be like, want to give you some ass. You be like, nah, not today. Or some shit yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah. So first of all, I believe I think dick discipline is real. Yeah. Hundred percent. And so you think niggas is, is out here turning down pussy? Uh, you asked me a question. Yeah. <laughs> You ain't, you ain't ask me what I think about niggas. I'm gonna touch on both yeah, though. Yeah. And even in, the, in my shit, I'm not finna sit here and act almighty insane. I'm gonna get mm. to the point. <laughs> but I ain't even gonna, cause I know if I did, you'd be like, nigga, you. <laughs> so I ain't even gonna give the people that. But like, so, but one, to answer the question just real quick, I do practice it, cause there's a certain way to practice it. Uh, and I do turn it down. However, yeah, like, it's hard for niggas. Like, on one hand, you can't sit there and be like, niggas is all physical, and then sit there and try to lie to the people and be like, yeah, boy, but it's only, it's sacred. It's only for such a such. Yeah. <laughs> but how I do practice it, though, is like, like if I, like if I, um, a lot of times, like when I'm, when I'm going through shit or when I'm just doing shit, like when I'm busy or when I got shit going on, right, mm. you get them sexual urges, right? And 
I could tell you there's been plenty of times I've acted on that shit. Like, mm. I, I was like, damn, I, I've been grinding, been doing this shit. I need some pussy, boy. You know, what mm. you know how we talked to us. So let me line something up. Yeah. Get sure to come through. In the moments now, I've learned to channel that shit sometimes to something else. Yeah. And then the other way I do it is like, now it's like if I get hit up, like if I get a FaceTime and I know it's between them hours where it's fin you trying to you trying to act like you want to slide because you don't want to go home. Yeah. Oh, what you doing? I don't want to go home. Yeah, you know the story they yeah. tell. You just say you want some dick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but when it's between that and I and I really don't want to be bothered with the chick, but I like I know I could just put up with her. Like I'd be like, right, she gonna come over here and talk a little too much, but at least she's gonna let me, yeah. Yeah. I just be like, nah, I'm cool. I don't feel like dealing, I'm gonna go to bed. So I do do that. <laughs> yeah. You 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 looking at me like, nigga, I ain't practicing none of that. <laughs> no, I don't do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the only time I do that shit. If it's like late at night, you know I'm old now. Yeah. If it's past, nigga, first of all, if I ain't out in the streets, yeah. nigga, I'm asleep by 11 o'clock. Yeah. If it's around 10, 11 o'clock, and you talking about you coming around one or two, fuck no. Yeah. So so it ain't so for you, it ain't even about practicing the dick discipline. You the way you the way you miss your um your booty calls, because we can call them what they are. Yeah. It's like, I don't feel like work. Like this, you asking for too much work at yeah. this at this time of night. Yeah, yeah. But if but if it was like Seven o'clock, eight o'clock, you with the shit. Yeah, yeah. See, that's why I'm there. That's why I know I'm practicing because even if that call came at five p.m., if I don't feel like doing it, I'm like, nah. Yeah. So, but yeah. So why, why, why do you think you practicing it? Like, what's caused you to practice it? Practice it. It, it really ain't no. For me, it's like, all right. So, all right. I'm gonna call myself. I was, I was about to give you a, a bull, like not a bullshit answer. It was gonna be the right answer, but. I was about to say some shit, but I want to answer it, the the core of it first, but then I'm gonna give you my answer. The why behind it, honestly, bro, is like I I genuinely be like, yo, I'm too I'm too motherfucking late in the and where I am in life mm. to be fucking around and making a baby with somebody. You know what I'm saying? That I really don't want to be in. I won't be in your life for 18 years, love. Yeah. Like I, that's part of it, mm. straight out the gate. Mm. I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. Like that's part of it. But then after that, it's like for me, it's like. Like, bro, like, whenever I'm, like, like for me, like, I that's, like, nigga get burnt out. Like, yeah. nigga don't. So, like, if I'm always just chasing the ass that it's, like, eh, it's cool because it's there. Mm. But then when I really want to rock with a chick, like, sometimes it's, like, damn, you on, you you giving her B minus meat, like we talked about, because you done already, you done fucked yourself crazy. Yeah, so, yeah. so I don't be wanting to miss them opportunities on the ones that I, I want to slap down yeah. no more. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, my age came wisdom. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> for all of y'all that's missing them opportunities with, with KP, be smooth here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> smooth, say, smooth say, just call his phone. Hey, listen, I'm gonna hey, tell you. I might not be there when you call, but I'm always on time. <laughs> <laughs> that's your problem now. But, but the crazy thing is like, it's crazy because like, that like them times that like when I, when I, when I like really be turning it down, it ain't a whole lot. Nah, yeah. don't get it twisted. Like I ain't seen that been like, oh, it's, it's Dick Discipline Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dick Discipline Tuesday. <laughs> don't be having me sitting here sounding like I'm some kind of lame man. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's just I like it, I really be in the moment, bro. Mm. And and it'll just be some shit where like the phone will ring and I I'll assess the situation. I'll be like, I'm cool on you, love. Mm. And in that moment, that's. The, the 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 ability to say no when it's when it's readily available, I think mm -hmm. that that's innately practicing it without having to to like practice it. Yeah. Like, now, no, it also depends on who it is because I say no to some motherfuckers. Like, yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Like mm -hmm. for you, it's like I guess this, it's the same thing. But because like I promise you, right now, any other ones that that know that they can hit me and I'm I'm with the shits with them. Yeah. I ain't practicing none of that shit on them, cause yeah. that's who I want. That's who I want to have sexual encounters with. Yeah, yeah. I want to fuck all the time. Yeah. I just don't want to be wasting that shit on some on a motherfucker. I don't feel like texting tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel you, I feel you so that's my thing, bro. Uh, but like, like we talking about like like big discipline and shit. I just I want I want I want to switch it, bro. I gotta <laughs> I gotta bring you up to speed on some shit. Uh, first of all, let me ask you something. You ever received any any weird gifts? From a from a chick, Any weird just 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 anything that you would think just just she got you some and it, and it and it was a gift. Let me not even say. Have you ever received a gift while you was getting ready to go on a date? First and foremost, no, no, 
Okay. It never happened. <laughs> so, mm. so, so this it didn't it didn't happen. Mm. But like she ran the scenario as soon as we meet, met up on yeah. where her head was going. And I'm like, look, don't do that. Mm. So like it was <laughs> it was a uh it was, a, it was recently. I had a uh I had a, a date I went on, bro, and like we linked up and she got out of the car or whatever. This was the first time we was going on a date. So naturally, you know, women, which I respect, women be on there, let's meet up or whatever. Cause she, you know, you don't know me like that. Yeah. So yeah, she met me at the spot that I, that I told her to meet me at. And bro, she was like, she was like, uh, she was like, can I tell you something? I'm like, yeah. She was like, I had some uh, I had some flowers for you today, but I forgot to pick them up. And bro, you should have saw my face. Yeah. Uh, flowers for who? <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like, you know, flowers for who? And she was like, yo, is that a problem? And in my head, I'm like, fuck yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But then I, I, I saw that like, she wasn't bullshitting at all. So mm -hmm. like she really had some motherfucking flowers she wanted to present me with. So I was like, I don't want her to feel so I was like, I was like, nah, it's cool. I ain't mad that you wanted to get me something. Like I said, I ain't say flowers. I ain't mad you wanted to get me something. I said, but we'll yeah. talk about it later. Yeah. Cause I had to dissect this shit. I'm wondering, bro, out of all the things you could get a nigga, why the hell would you put my, some that, flowers? That, that's exactly my point. <laughs> Cause I'm sitting there like, I don't want to sit here and act like, like I can't receive a gift from a female. Yeah. Of course, like if you want to do shit for me, but where in the fuck in your head what, in any of my aura, <laughs> anything I've ever presented to any woman, yeah. at what point did it say, oh, Caleb appreciates some roses. Let me let me go get him a dozen roses. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she got some white roses. <laughs> oh, some tulips. Bro. Some tulips. <laughs> Bro. And you see that, this is why I know yeah. I need to go ahead and find me somebody. And I, listen, I'm still cool with the chick and we still, you know, like yeah. it ain't nothing, it ain't no issues. That was just that situation. But it's like, in my head, I'm like, yo, this dating shit getting weirder and weirder, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, need to, I need to find me somebody. Cause like, and like we, and then we dissected it a little bit. After, after I sat with it, you know, she was like, she was like, hey, just tell me like, what's it with? She was like, why do you feel like a man can't, Except flowers, and and I told her, I was like I was like listen if you know that about a dude that you dating and you know he enjoy flowers mm. fucking weird to me but yeah. do your thing I'm I'm I would never coin that gay I was like don't mm. get it misconstrued uh, misconstrued or whatever. don't get it confused none of that but however like for me that's a, that's like you putting me in an awkward situ situation to receive that because like that ain't that ain't me at all yeah. love like you know like as as if I pulled up and bought you. I bought you a a, a manly ass gift. Yeah, I, I pulled him blade. Sure, I got you a Swiss blade. Yeah. <laughs> sure, I bought you some Air Force. Air Force One. Air Force One. Some <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you're at our age now, so it's like it's just. I was like, I was like, you should have waited on the gift. To, if you really want to do that, because I don't ask for nothing. Yeah. If you really want to do that, wait and get to know me and understand what I like, and then present something. I don't give a fuck if the shit was free, two dollars, yeah. three dollars. If it's sentimental to me, that's gonna mean way more than you just popping out with some roses, sweetheart. Yeah. I don't know no nigga that be accepting us or no flowers though. I am gonna ask this anybody out there, please, dudes. <laughs> I would love to know, like, if y'all got chicks buying y'all flowers and stuff. I just want to know if that's some shit that that happens. Because honestly, like, I that's what I told her. I, I was like, listen, I said I don't know, like, who you who your guy circle friends are, or, like, what you've seen in life. But I was like, I don't know one single man that I can think of ever in life that I met that have received flowers. And I was like, and I was like, in general, first of all. But I was like, and I, you took it a step further and wanted to present that shit to me on a first date. Yeah. Like, and, and I told her, I was like, Shorty, you low key making me feel like I need you teach you try to teach me how to date on the you know what I'm saying? I no, was she, like, I took it personal. She, she, nah, to me, she giving me like the female simp vibes. <laughs> female simp vibes. That's exactly what she giving me, man. Come on, man, don't do it. <laughs> she a nice girl. Nah. She might be, but that's that's if a dude would do it, oh, that's it all day. <laughs> Yeah, First I mean, time. yeah, let's call it. Like, we, got, we you, I, I'm agreeing with you. We should call it what it is. No matter, not just because of a woman doing it. Now nah, we shouldn't give her no pass. No, I no, agree. But yeah. she, she didn't do it. Yeah, you know, yeah, it was yeah, just, yeah. it was, it was, you know, because you know she forgot about it. So thank mm -hmm. God. Yeah. Because shorty, you was gonna have to leave them flowers in the car to die. She, she did better giving you an edible arrangement. <laughs> like, I gotta took that motherfucker. No key, I've had, but this is like my ex. She sent that to my job, mm. but that's cool because you know I like fruit. Yeah, yeah. You put, you either put the little strawberry stuff at the tips mm. or the chocolate paws. You like, you like the eggplants? <laughs> See, this is where it goes. You got the purple on. 
Pause. Pause, man. Pause. All that, bro. They ask me about it. It plays in front of the camera, dog. They can't shit you on this Pause, one. Man. Hey, oh. hey, but listen, I'm low key hype sitting right here. Just have a brief intermission to announce that my dog said we outside after this recording. So, for sure, for sure. Like, we ready to go turn up. But, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> but yeah, like, I, I really just wanted to bring that to you because I was like, I was like, bro, I ain't never heard Jeremy tell me nothing about none of, you know, his chick. And you done told me some wild stories. Mm. So as soon as she told me that, I was like, yeah, sweetheart, you took the cake with this. So that's mm. like you, you on some simp shit. And and I, I, I will say this. I'm mm. going to be real with you and say this. Any nigga like that's accepting that shit, like, and that like, you ain't checking it, like, meaning like any nigga who's accepting it who don't, who feel like, nah, you doing too much. Yeah. But then you like, hey, I'm saving her feelings. Bro, you on some sim shit just for that because oh, yeah. like that behavior should be checked because yeah, they are gonna yeah. think it's they now she I think she learned that from somebody. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying that shit new to me. I never heard no shit like that. Yeah, I but, just but to uh, talk about that man about females giving uh, their social media out instead of their phone number. Mm-hmm. To me, I think they do it because they don't really they don't really want to be bothered like with the nigga. Mm-hmm. Which 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 your take yeah, yeah. on it? Yeah, yeah. So you talking about like you talking about like like y'all like let's say y'all in the unit club, you in a chick. Yeah, whenever they get out the social like like we because we had talked about it on our social media episode. You talking about like when they get it? No. So you basically saying you think you think that niggas do it like you like I you asking I don't want to tell you no. Yeah, so, so I'm gonna just give you my, my social, social media. media. So you, yeah, so you get away. <laughs> See, I, the the, the, the only reason is, I say that because it ain't never happened to me. Yeah, I know you, yeah. you told me that. You yeah, told me. Yeah. That. But like the I know the women I know. Mm. Bro, if they don't if they don't fuck with you, yeah. they won't be bothered, period. Cause women know how thirsty dudes are. Mm. I think they, they ain't even offering the social media. And I'd be like, I'ma tell you right now, I know now for sure. I get it now. Cause I remember I remember a few months ago, we were talking about, and I still I stand on what I meant. Like you can't you, yeah, because it, it happened to me twice. I've been offered the social media twice when I shot, and I'm cool both times. Yeah. Or like, but now, you know, like I said, I give out my social media for the podcast, but like, to stay on topic, like, I get now why women can, just through the conversations I've been having, mm-hmm. I absolutely get why women be on some, on some take my social media shit. Because like, when, when a lot of niggas get to that text message stage, yeah. that text message etiquette all fucked up, I mean, like, and it's just through the covers. And like, we probably need to do a motherfucking show about this. Just talk about like that niggas is real. Niggas get real confused in that stage between I got the social media or number, I got the contact information. That's what we're gonna call it now. Yeah. It's multiple platforms in the stage between I got the contact information and to the point of where y'all really. She really fucking with you and she sees some potential, like as a as a, either a relationship or somebody that's like situationship. That in that in between time, niggas got the game away fucked up. Yeah. Like dudes, dudes be doing the shit that you that you doing on on boyfriend, girlfriend stage. As soon as you get the number, like, it's cool. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, it's it's cool. Hit her with a good morning, beautiful sometimes, occasionally, you know. Don't do that shit here, man. Yeah, I mean, fuck no. Yeah. Fuck no. Yeah. Please don't. <laughs> yeah. Like, don't do that at all. Like, that's cool to hit that. It's cool to, like, you know, hit it with the what you doing or, you know, send the... But when you put me, that what you doing, spell that shit out. Yeah, please. Yeah. Please. Yeah, that W-I-D is trash. Yeah. But, and it's, it's even cool to just be on some, you know, you know, having some small conversation and, and like, you know, checking in time to time. But, like, bro... Like, if you waking up every day and it's, hey, good morning, beautiful, and then it's a what you're doing, and then you sending hard eyes and all this shit, yeah. and you just doing that shit all day, and she don't even see you like that, yeah. bro, you killing yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Women tell me all the time, they be asking me, hey, why y'all, then they say they love to say it like this, why y'all niggas be acting hella thirsty too soon? I'm like, who the fuck is y'all? Yeah, uh, and, and it usually be some chicks that I've either, you know, dealt with before or yeah. like, you know, or they know me. And I'd be like, you tell me in your experience with me, do I even look like the type? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers be mad because I ain't responding to their shit. I know I ain't sitting up. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't be doing the shit. Mm. However, I'm saying that like, and then you know what happened? You know, you know what I learned that niggas doing now? Yeah. 
Niggas starting to call from social media. So a nigga, nigga call, oh yeah, yeah. I see. I like man. How in the hell? What the? If you can't call from your phone, why the hell would you try to call? You know what's happening media? though? Nig- niggas, is, niggas is, and that's why we, that's why women are like approaching with the social media more now. I'm coming mm-hmm. to this conclusion now. Yeah. Niggas will get to the dudes will get to the um, number stage mm. and completely fuck that privilege up. Yeah. And then you got to get something back to the archives, right? Because, yeah. you know, it might be some beneficial shit there for her later, right? Yeah. So you getting sent back to the archives, so you on block on the phone. Yeah. So now now you can't you you can't get that same access that you had before yeah. when you could FaceTime and all this shit. Insert, call, whoever from Instagram, my nigga, and <laughs> or Facebook Bro, or Snapchat. You got to be the lamest motherfucker in the world. <laughs> The call from Instagram, Snapchat, and all that. You stuff never called a chick from Fuck no. <laughs> Which I ain't got your number, I ain't calling. Right. Have you have you ever received a call from uh, social media? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have. From uh, Snapchat, I think. I ain't answered it. You don't though. answer it. No. You know what like, I so I ain't gonna lie to you. There's certain people, and I'm gonna explain why I do pick it up. There's certain and it's very few. There's certain people when I see it coming through, mm-hmm. like on a certain platform, I do answer. My brother Wesley being one. Yeah. First of all, Wesley looked like he still operated no kid. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Black Jesus. <laughs> shout, shout out to Black Jesus. <laughs> but I'm being dead ass. My, yeah, my yeah. brother called me from Snapchat. Yeah. I'm going to answer it because I know this. I was like, this nigga don't know how to face to. He, well, he ain't got no phone to FaceTime. Yeah. But the, the Snapchat ad is on his phone and he want to do FaceTime activities. <laughs> I'm going to give bro that luxury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even though this should be, this, it should be lagged, it'd be horrible, cool. <laughs> that nigga, he want, you know that nigga Wesley got the worst Snapchat that I shit, ever seen. And man. Shit, that nigga say some shit and I'll be in the middle of answering him and all he tell is, huh? <laughs> I'm like, and he's like, oh, okay, my bad, you talking now. <laughs> now, if you don't get the fuck off my phone. <laughs> I mean, be having the worst looking reception on Snapchat. <laughs> so, like, situation like that, I'm cool with it. Like, I'm I'm a pick up for bro. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. if I like, if it's some shit with like, I've had I've had one of my partners hit me on some, he they, they called me from, it was Facebook, mm. and I ain't pick up. And it was like, he, son, he the message said, phone down, need you to answer ASAP. Mm. So you, and he was on somebody else's phone, but called me from Facebook. I picked up on, so shit like that, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, don't don't be trying to get extra access for me and then think you can just call me from. Yeah. Well, I don't even want to answer if it ain't on FaceTime. I got a chick who be calling me from Duo, son. From what? What the hell is that? <laughs> Google it. This is called Duo? Google Duo. Oh, no, I don't know yeah, I is. answer, though. I ain't gonna lie. But I me, catch it, me I answer. people who do that, that's not like the the, uh, the experiences you said. Yeah. They, they just don't know you. Bro, something is mentally wrong with you to be calling me from Instagram or Snapchat and shit like that. Let me ask you something. Do you think with dudes specifically, because I, cause I, I, was, I was just thinking it. I was, whenever I be hearing the stories, I be like, bro, is bro retarded? Yeah. So like, let me ask you a question. Do, and I'm sorry, I know we ain't even supposed to use that word. It sounds so. like, uh, you know, the <laughs> Are yeah. you retarded? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to get that shit bleeped, but it's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, but like, I really be, I be questioning myself like, so, and this is where I'm, this is where I'm going with the question I want to ask you. Do you think it's a situation where dudes really don't know how to pick up on signs where they ruining the vibe or you think they don't even care as much to to read into all that it's just like i'm gonna apply pressure until she give in i think it's more that like they never had a, a chick like that i like guess a chick that's a that's out of out of his league, out of their league. Out of their mm. league. so they, they plan pressure 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 yeah and they just pushing that motherfucker away yeah and because the crazy thing is, and <laughs> the crazy thing is like i had something where like where like my homegirl that made this statement, it, it made sense. And cause she she was saying, she was saying that like she had a dude she was fuck like, well she you know, she she she, she fucked with, like mm-hmm. she cool with him or whatever. And she kinda had to tell him tell him how to communicate with her. Cause she like, I ain't the chick that won't be, I got shit to do. I ain't on my phone all day. I ain't trying to do all this. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to I ain't trying to talk to you all day. You ain't gotta see like all that heart kissy shit. Yeah. Don't, I ain't even no affectionate person like that unless I like you like that. Yeah. That's her that's her stance, right? Yeah. And like she was like specifically with the dudes she dealing with at the time, but then most dudes, she was like, she always gotta explain that to dudes, but then when she explained it, dudes like get into their little get into their like like they get timid, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like she'll post something and then he was like, Hey, I don't they'll be like, Hey, I don't mean to bother. 
or whatever. But <laughs> you know, that soft shit. And, what? And, and she was like, she was like, on one hand, you know, you wanna, I wanna, I wanna, you know, tell them like, like, yeah. listen, just because I said don't blow me up all day, don't mean you can't compliment me. Yeah. But then she said, and this is this is what she said that made sense. She was like, but I also ain't in the business of reassuring no grown ass man, yeah. which is facts. I'm like, I'm like. Bro, if you can't, if you ain't man enough to stand in who you are and just display that shit to a woman and allow them to choose if they won't fuck with you or not, yeah. you probably shouldn't even be dating. Yeah, now, fellas, if you ever, if you ever text a chick, I don't mean to bother you. <laughs> bro, you was about the lowest man I ever seen in my life. You was not no man. <laughs> like, man, like, you just a male. Right? You a man. <laughs> you ain't no man. <laughs> My man, man, said, said, man. man. <laughs> we take we strip the N from you. <laughs> you M A L E. <laughs> you got the same body parts as up, but you ain't standing in your masculinity, mm. dog. But but it, it really it shocked me, bro. It was like I don't mean to bother, like yeah. like. You can't just say what you like. Yeah, yeah. Like, like your nuts can't drop enough just for you to just let them. Cause for me, if I was in that situation where like I was doing too much and a chick came back and told me like, hey. This is how I like to move. Mm. Everything from that point on, from communication, was just going to be transactional. And mm. I don't mean that in a bad way. What I mean by transactional is, is no more what you're doing. There's no more good morning, beautiful. There's no more none of that shit. Mm. It's some, yo, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I, I, I had this plan that I was thinking about doing uh, on Thursday or whatever. This is, you know, this is the or whatever. You, want, you trying to fuck with that? Come, mm. come rock with your boy. That'd be my communication. Yeah. Every time I hit her, I'm going to have something to do or some, some shit I'm trying to see what's up on and allow you to either say yes or no. And I'm gonna move about my way from that way. Yeah. Cause you know, I ain't, I know I ain't at that level where we fucking with each other to even get, apply that type of pressure. So I'm not going to do it. So I fall back. But these, some of these niggas out here just be on some, I'm gonna try, but I'm gonna take this, yeah. this little timid approach. And I hope she like this little man, you beta ass but, nigga. Well, you don't go sit you, your bro, ass. If I ever, and I know I never will get to the point to where I got to send a chick I don't mean to bother you, bro. I'm going to delete your ass. I'm never hitting you up again if I if we get to that point. Right, right. But but it, but like how what if the shoes on the other fit? Let's say you receiving it now. Let's mm -hmm. say a chick was applying pressure like they do now, mm -hmm. and she hit you with the, I don't mean to bother. Like, I, cause I for me I'm I ain't gonna lie to you before you answer. It, I'm I'm probably cool with it, mm -hmm. but because I look at that as some. Feminine, like some, I, I, I look at that as a female trait. I don't know if that's yeah. bad to say or like politically incorrect or not, yeah. but I'm saying, I think that's, and I don't want to call it a weak trait. I just think that it's a feminine female. That's something that I want, hey, I ain't trying to bother you right now, but this yeah. is, you know, and it's like, oh no, Shorty, you good. Yeah, yeah that's what that's why I used to, I done had this shit happen <laughs> yeah. before. Yeah, that's me too. I've had, I'm gonna say, I've had women say, I don't mean to bother you, but I've, as a man, I can't recall if I've ever just been also. Unless I'm really on, like, if, like we have, no, I'm not even interested in you sexually or relationship wise, and like I know you're a busy person, and I, and I need to get some information, or like I'm, I'd probably, hey yo, hey, no mean to bother, but just a quick reminder on some boom, 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 yeah. and, I, and you know, be a woman, but that's, that's like I, I'm trying to put a shirt on the end, or yeah. you know, <laughs> some shit like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. like I, I said, but I don't mean to bother you when I'm trying to get your time, yeah. beloved, trust me. <laughs> First of all, I pick up on energy. Yeah. Like, so to answer my own question where I wanted to go with that, like, I do think that, I think it's a mix. Mm -hmm. I think dudes are innately so, a lot of dudes can be so stuck in their masculinity to where they just think, I'm just gonna apply this pressure, I'm that nigga, yeah. and I'm just gonna be this annoyance ass dude, and, and it's a numbers game. Like, there, of course, there's gonna be some women that ain't fucking with that. I'm gonna annoy them, but then there's gonna be some that's rocking with it. Yeah. But I also think there's the, the guys that's like, when they hear that shit, they just, like, they go into their little shell and they get timid and stuff. And I think eat, both sides is watering down. For me, it's like, and the easiest way to do it with anybody, I hope they know this, is like, I'm gonna always give what I can get. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting communication on the hour, every hour. I'm going to try, try my best to get that back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm getting communication every five hours, every other day. I'm reciprocating that shit. Oh, I didn't already seen what's up on a date or two. That's my limit. I ain't going to lie. I set up the first one. And, and especially if the vibe is dope, I'm going with that second one. Yeah. That third interaction, you got to at least be like, hey, when I'm seeing you again. Yeah. I don't mind playing it, but like that's that type of shit. So if that's the energy I'm saying. Like I, I, I wish the fuck I would be hitting a chick up on date one, date two, date three, day four, day five, oh, no. and you ain't never hitting me back. You ain't never trying to see what's up with me. You ain't never trying to do none of that shit. Yeah. Man, I wish the fuck I would. <laughs> that should be <me>, open. <laughs> man, listen, I just, it was good to get back in the cave, brother, wrap it up with you, man. I just, I, I know we rambling and shit. We just talking about some, 
a number of different topics, but I just wanted to kind of sit down with you and, and kind of roll through that. That flower shit real life fucked my head up, dog. That's why I was like, <laughs> I was like, bro, go wild out when you hear this. <laughs> what, you, uh, what you got for bro talk, man? What's on your mind? Bro, uh, bro talk finish. Y'all just need to uh, match energies. Don't be like text no female. I don't mean to bother you. Be a man. Like, don't be no simp ass nigga out here in these streets. Especially in these Houston streets. See, boy, you, you know setting yourself saying? up for failure. Yeah, just um, man, be a man. Don't be chasing no female. Yeah. Chase your goals. Yeah, like that. real shit. Yeah. Hey, just much on your bro talk before I get to what, what I got to say. I, I, I uh, had a conversation the other day. I, I, I just asked, I was asked a chick, and this is a chick that, like, if I said her name now, there's probably some people be like, oh, I know who that is from, like, yeah. you know, social media. And I, I was like, listen, you you a chick who got status, whatever. I was like, and yo, I was like, I know the way you move, like your time pressures or whatever. I was like, how important is it for like a nigga to like have, you know, have, you know, make time for your shit? Mm-hmm. She just flat out said, and it wasn't even no long count. She was like, I need a dude to make time for me, but I don't need to, a dude to always have time for me. Yeah. Cause she, and what she meant was like, if you always got time when I'm ready to hit you and it ain't never, hey, let me, all right, we could do this, but and you but you ain't shifting shit mm. to put it on like your schedule, like a give and take team. She's like, that shows me that he's waiting on me to to see my availability. And, and it's just like, that tells me that it's a dude that really ain't got much going. Yeah. And I respected it because I, I was like, okay, you think that was a logical thought. So I'm like, all right, respect it. Yeah. yeah, but like real quick, just to wrap this up, man, my bro talk really quick, man, I, um, I remember me, and I'm gonna be real vulnerable now. I remember me and you was talking, when I was texting you the other day, just talking about my writer's block and my creativity, yeah, so, right? Yeah. Bro, uh, it, it got me to where I'm at today just to talk about this bro talk, bro. I got to talk, I just started thinking about all the pressures that I be having that's coming with us, like the shit that you and I got in the pipeline, you know, you know, my, court, my nine to five job with the work picking up and everything and just life in general with different, you know, different shit that you got to get done. This whole COVID pandemic picking up and all the stresses that come with that. Yeah. I was just sitting there, I was like, bro, I got, re- I real life got five months left in this year. And like, there's a whole lot of pressure on me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that, that word specifically pressure kept standing out pressure. It was like, damn, this is pressure. That's pressure. That's pressure. You smoke and, pressure. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely smoked that pressure. <laughs> but, yeah, but like, where I, where, where I went with it, I was like, I was like, the word was beating me up so much that I had to dissect it. And I was like, I was like, bro, pressure, and, and this is where I want to go with my bro talk. It's like, like whenever you whenever you're back against the wall, you facing pressure and you, and you overwhelmed and you look like like you don't know how I'm gonna get this shit done. Like you gotta find something in you that's gonna just shake you out of that. Cause like when I think of pressure now, opposed to when it was beating me up, pressure now. Is, is is very logical and is, it's very tangible now for me. I see pressure as two things. Pressure going to either bust a pipe or it's going to make a diamond. And in that moment, I was like, Kaylin, what are you? Yeah. And I'm a, and every time I'm going to choose to be a diamond, I'm encouraging everybody else out there to be a diamond. Anytime you got that pressure applied, choose the diamond, man, every time. Don't be no pipe and getting busted up out there. Yeah. Uh, but this is episode 33 of the Certified Steppers Podcast. I am your big homie. Y'all saw me on Instagram. I was serving Big Daddy vibes. Y'all gonna get that for the rest of the year. <laughs> like, comment, <laughs> subscribe, baby. Yeah. This is my dog, Smooth. He gonna serve whatever he served. That's Savage <laughs> over there. And we gonna see y'all on the other side. Yeah. <laughs>